Hello everyone and welcome to my show. I'm Bella Beach Rice and I'm so excited that you all have tuned in into my show. Today I have a very special show in store for you. My special guest, Tammy Devine. So I want you all to stay tuned because she got some information that's going to be so amazing for you. So everyone, welcome back. I am super excited. Right now, I have with me my special guest, Tammy Devine. Oh my God, I am so happy. I tend to say, oh my God, every time I get somebody on here. But, you know, listening to your, your story earlier, I talk about so much, I don't even know really what it is. But I know that you are the owner of Crown City News. And can you tell us a little bit about, you know, Crown City News and, sure. and how it just came about? Yeah, thanks for having me on. Oh. You have some great guests. You're doing great on your show. Oh, You've got thank great you. following. Thank Way you. to go, girl. Keep it up. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Good, Good tips, job. right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, you take the learning as you get it, you know, yeah. but you're doing a fantastic job. Keep it up. Thank you. Um, so Crown City News. Crown yes. City News is um, local TV news, like community news, you know. Crown We've been City. covering Pasadena in the San Gabriel Valley for about 10 years. Wow. And recently we branched out into CCN Sunrise, a morning talk show. And we're running CCN Sunrise on a broadcast channel out here in the Southern California market, the Los Angeles market, which wow. is the number two largest market in the country, right? Wow. And, uh, our reach is just as big as a major outlet. So we reach about 15 million viewers in five Southern California counties. Um, and um, it's just uh, so much fun. We interview different businesses and organizations throughout the communities. And you know, we're not just limiting it to the San Gabriel Valley anymore. If, there, if we yeah. find a great story out in LA, we're gonna bring somebody in That's to the studio awesome. and talk, yeah. So we just love promoting people and giving people the exposure um, for their businesses or their organizations. If they're an individual with a great story, we don't really discriminate around here. That's good, <laughs> because one of the things I had the opportunity to, to be there, I thought that was amazing, and how you had the guests on there and, you know, allowing them to cook <laughs> on set up. <laughs> Yeah, you know, the Taste of Sunrise segment of CCN Sunrise. That is fun. I love that segment. It's one of my favorites. You know, and, and they, able, I mean, to do it actually on set live, I think that's cool. And then also people have the opportunity to start there. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. to be trained by you. Yeah, you know, we've done a lot of training through Crown City News and mm -hmm. CCN Sunrise, and that's one of the things I love about what we do, is that we give people opportunities that they otherwise would not have. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to get into television when I was a, uh, when I was in college, right? And it was hard, there was a catch-22. And the catch-22 is you need to have experience to have a job, and you need to have a job to get experience, right? That's everybody's catch-22. Yes. It was so difficult for me. I sent out like a hundred tapes at the time there was tapes. <laughs> um, and um, you know, we got rejections right and left. But all it took was that one. one. It only takes one person to say yes. And um, when I got that yes, it changed my whole life, my whole world. So what I wanted to do with Crown City News, and now CCN Sunrise too, is to put a gap in the Catch-22. Let's put a gap in the Catch-22, right? right yeah. So that people can come into Crown City News, get the experience that they need, that they want, about being a TV news reporter or host, or even working behind the scenes if they want, writing, mm -hmm. producing, technical stuff. And then that gives them the material they need to be uh, to put it on their resume yeah. to be the reporter to get exposure in the Los Angeles market right mm -hmm. have that on their resume um, have the videotape to prove it right prove. Um, exactly. <laughs> have exposure in the Los Angeles market and then um, uh, be able to get whatever job they want in whatever market and you know we've had great success with that we've had people like Brian Loftus Melody wow. Brian Ryan Loftus had no ex television experience. He came to us for only three months and he landed in the top 50 market at the time after he trained with us only once a week for three months. Wow. And that doesn't happen. So what that means is that we are giving people a solid foundation of training, uh, teaching them everything they needed to know, the basics, the fundamentals of telling a great story on television. And that helped launch him into his dream career. And we have people all over the country that we've trained that are now working in their dream television careers because wow. of us. So we've done a lot. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I thank you on behalf of them. <laughs> I know they do. Oh my 
my God, that's that's so impressive. Thank you. You know, with that being said, I, we're gonna come right back because I want to talk to her a lot more about these opportunities that Crown City News that you are doing and how you're just giving people opportunity to launch their career. So we'll be right back. And we are here with Tammy Devine about CNC Sunrise and all the different opportunities that CNC Sunrise offer people. Before we go to that, you know, before I know you told me a little bit about how you did a lot of different things mm -hmm. in your native land, how you actually came <laughs> from somewhere else <laughs> yeah. here. And I know so many people that are following, they're actually not from here, mm -hmm. you know. So if you could just share a little bit how you got from there yeah. here and how you just had these opportunities. <laughs> so opportunities. So many opportunities. Melody, I'm a Christian and I say with no hesitation that God has been so good to me. Yes. I have been so blessed throughout my life from the moment I was born wow. and that's a literal thing, okay? Yes. So I was born on the floor of a mud hut in Sierra Leone, West Africa. It was just me and my mom. Um, my father had abandoned us. My mother had had four other children before me. They all died because the infant mortality rate is so high in third world countries. There's no doctors or clinics right around the corner, right? Wow. So they have to suffer a lot of times on their own. So all my mother's children died because the infant mortality rate is so high. Hope and she named me accordingly. Those are my middle names today. Um, Last Hope and like Metal Chain to keep the evil spirits away, right? Wow. Um, uh, to keep me from dying too. You know, that's how they believe there. They asked me if I would like to live with them. God has been so good to you me. You know what? Honestly, I appreciate you saying that because I remember when I used to see that on TV, mm -hmm. I literally thought, I was like, well, maybe they're just making it. Oh, I no. said, you know, maybe those kids, you know. Yeah. But, and when I think it's about yeah. And when I think about, too, how you say you wasn't afraid to go up to them, <laughs> right. you know, that's a part of your career right now. Mm -hmm. You're not afraid to mm -hmm. just jump out there and do it, mm -hmm. you know, and you have to be aggressive in that type of business. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Also, being in journalism, TV news, um, gives you a confidence like nothing else I can think of. Today, if the president walked into this room, I'd be like, hey, Mr. President, <laughs> how you doing? Okay. How's, how's Sasha? How's Malia? Mrs. Obama, she doing okay? Would you sit here? Let's have a good little chat, you mm -hmm. know? I could talk to the president like that without like cowering in fear, right? To me, from being a journalist, from working in TV news. And you have to have that confidence in this business. Yeah. I don't care whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever you're doing, yeah. Because it's like people can really tell when you're not confident yeah. in what you're doing. Right, that's exactly you right. Know? Yeah. Well, because when I, okay, so that makes a lot of sense too. Mm -hmm. So when you're training people, that's mm -hmm. something that you tell them, look, make sure you make direct mm -hmm. eye contact with people mm -hmm. because then they know you're actually paying them attention. Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about this training yeah. and how people actually can come and get trained if they mm -hmm. want to be a journalism. Mm -hmm. They really can and um, our rates are so affordable. It's like, it's a sin really <laughs> <laughs> how affordable they are. But people can just um, uh, contact me and um, I will set up a unique training program just for them, you know. That's how it's been actually for 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's I create a roadmap of where they want to end up and then what we're going to do specifically with them to get to where they need to go. Because it's it's hard for me to make training like cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. I can if I need to. But everybody comes with different skill sets, right? Mm -hmm. Some people can talk really good and they're naturals, they can flow, but maybe they need help with their look on camera, you know? Mm -hmm. So we'll work on that. Um, some people don't know how to write, so maybe they can talk really good, but they don't really know how to write a good story. So we'll really um, emphasize that. Yeah, and I can go on you and on about the differences. When you say that, Storytelling on television yeah. is so big. So what makes a story just an awesome story to actually engage people what people want to say, you know what? Mm -hmm. I want to watch them again uh -huh. because they can tell that story, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. So like what uh, good storytelling, there's so many facets to really good storytelling, but I'll give a few free tips here free today. Tips. Few just for you. <laughs> <laughs> and if, if people want more, they can actually visit the Tammy.divine LinkedIn page because every now and then I'll go in there and put a broadcast journalism 
uh, tip of the day on there and oh, I'll talk about those kinds of things so awesome. people can visit Tammy.Divine on LinkedIn awesome. to find that. So um, how do you tell a good story? One of the things to do is go full circle. So start, you start with maybe a soundbite or, mm -hmm. or a specific person, place, thought or idea, mm -hmm. right? And if you're going to start there, then end your story that way as well. Awesome. Okay. So then that way people have a feeling of like, a complete story has been told here. That's one of the ways to be a really good storyteller. And also keep in mind that every story needs to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. This is just basics. You don't just um uh Come up just, with stuff. yeah, don't just like regurgitate a bunch of stuff. Come up with a plan on how you're gonna like write an outline of how you want your story to go and make sure you um, introduce it properly so that people know what you're talking about. Make sure the middle has a lot of great details for you and then end it looking forward. Like what happens next uh, when you tell a story on television. people rejected that you know um, rejected you how yeah. did, and if they did uh -huh. how did you actually handle when people say you know what uh -huh. well speaking about rejection you really have to have a tough skin to be in the entertainment industry and to do TV news because you're gonna get rejected all over the place. Mm. Like, it's really a matter of persistence, right? Okay. <laughs> um, keep telling the story. I, I got rejected um, in getting into a job many, many times, but it just took that one place to say yes. Tony Turner, WYMT, We're Your Mountain Television in Nazareth, <laughs> Kentucky, um, gave me my opportunity. I had to shoot, write, edit. I had to do everything myself and go live with it on camera. I was nervous uh, for the longest time. I don't think I was really comfortable in my skin until probably about three or four years wow. into, and this was with live daily reporting, right? Wow. Um, I was. I, I took probably about three or four years before I could finally get in front of a camera and just talk. Before, I would like have to bullet point everything out and map everything out in my head and just me, you know? And even then I was screwing up and I'd have to look at my notes and you know? So it takes a while and it's a matter of repetition. Doing it, get Keep out and it. do it over and over and over again before you feel really comfortable and get to that expert level. level. Yeah. And that's something I had experienced with the show. <laughs> you know, like having people, getting the right people, mm -hmm. and then the rejection, rejection, rejection. Mm -hmm. And it was a part of me sometimes that would say, you know what? Just forget it. And then some say, if you stop now, well, how are you going to feel when you get big? <laughs> you know, and yeah. then you look back at those stories that you started out and how you've grown. So from the time you started way back then mm -hmm. right to where right. you are now. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, it's like a 10 year, probably like a 10 oh, to 15. About 20 years. Oh, 20 years. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. So like a 20 year gap. 20 year gap. So yeah. how do you see that the business has changed? Do you mm -hmm. see a drastic change or do you see where it just actually just changes a little bit? You know, it's amazing the changes in the industry. Um, it's actually gone more, the industry has actually gone more towards how it was when I first started in that many, many news outlets now are trying to save money. Mm -hmm. And so people need to be marketable. They need to have lots of different skills. They need to know how to write, shoot, edit, and produce. They're now not called reporters. They're called multimedia journalists. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you need to know how to post your stuff up online and reach an audience online. So you got to know how to do all of these things now. That's a major change, I think, from halfway in, like kind of going back to the very beginning when I was doing all of that stuff. So what you had to do just one thing and before, yeah. now you need to. So I think it's good then, in a sense, because you know you can actually develop your own material so you can get that job. That's exactly right. Uh, it makes you marketable to have more than one skill. You need to be wow. a good talker on camera. You need to be able to write. You need to be able to interview, find the right interviews, ask the right questions according to the audience that you have, and then be able to um, uh, put it up online and, and get 
gain an audience online now because that's what most people care about yeah. more than anything now. Because a lot of people actually are more so online mm -hmm. than actually watching TV. Yeah. Because some people don't even have cable, you know, and stuff. So if you can actually have your TV, your stuff on TV as well as, as yeah. the internet and yeah. social media, of course, uh -huh. you know, it's super big, you know. Um, but one of the things that I I see in you, and I think it's so amazing, is how you just became so successful and you didn't quit. You know, yeah. and that's something I see a lot when I see different people because I'm a people watcher too, mm -hmm. and I I look at their, you know, good points and I look at their bad points. Mm -hmm. But yet and still, you made all of those. Mm -hmm. You know, Melody, I got to tell you that there were plenty of times that I wanted to give up. Even now, there are some days that I'm like, what the heck am I doing? I'm doing too much. You know, I have two kids. Um, I call them, they're my allergy babies, they're allergic to just about everything, wow. right? Bo's doing a little better, the older one, but the That's baby, good. Benjamin, allergic to so much. And um, I'm running Crown City News, I'm trying to do training, I'm doing a radio show, I have my husband, I, you know? There's so much in my life and often I really do want to give up. But I don't give up, number one, because I realize that the things that I'm doing actually help people. Yeah. That makes me feel fulfilled when I know that I'm helping someone somebody reach their potential. And um, number two, I heard a story about being three feet from gold. There's a story out there. And when you um, uh, are doing something that you love and you feel like giving up, think about you might be inches away from becoming that you know major success that you've always wanted to be so do you really think you should give up will you regret and realize that if you would have kept going another day another mm -hmm. hour another week another month you might have had the success you're looking for that helps spur me on too that's amazing that actually gave me a little bit more hope right there <laughs> don't give up you know what that's I'm what i say if you're doing what you love don't give up. Yeah. Yeah. Find a way. Get more training. Get more. Um, just do it. You know. Don't wait for other people to fund you. Don't wait. Oh for, my God, that's know, so real. Do it. <laughs> and you know, when you say that, I think about the fact that you know, if you waiting on somebody else to just, to to put you where you're supposed to be, mm -hmm. then it's like to me almost like you slave to that person. Oh yeah. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're bound to them. You're bound to them. Yeah. But if you do it yourself and learn. And like you were saying earlier, who you are, you know, and develop that person, mm -hmm. meaning learn how to write, mm -hmm. learn how to get the right training, how mm -hmm. to be on camera, how mm -hmm. to do that. That's so important, you know, because a lot of people don't know. They think, oh, I just, you know, if I can just talk on the camera, <laughs> I'm good. But then that means they got to hire somebody to write your stuff mm -hmm. and teach you how to say it. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's that's so, so many big. elements. That's so big, y'all. Yeah. There's so many elements to what we do. And my advice to everybody is to learn and soak in as much of it as you possibly can. And I don't mean just sit and read and about it and other things, you know. Um, classroom work is important. Reading is important. Yeah. Do it. But you also have to get out and do Hands on. what it is. Hands on. Exactly. Do what it is that you want to ultimately end up doing in life and in your career. And the more you do it, the closer you get to being expert level at wow. it. Wow, that's awesome. That is so awesome. Well, I thank you so much for the inspiration, the motivation, and just the information. Oh my God, that rhyme. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you put it in your nose. <laughs> Yes. So y'all make sure you be following her too on all their social media for the Crown City News as well as Tammy Divine and make sure that you go to the website, you know, uh, crowncitynews.com. Uh, crowncitynews.com and she gave me the phone number. 626-344-8314. <laughs> awesome. 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 Measure. <laughs> I thank you so much. I thank you so much for being on the show. It was a pleasure and an honor to have you here Thank to just you. let everybody know how awesome you are and all the accomplishments, how you help so many people. You know, so I thank you all so much for tuning in. Make sure that you follow me on my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, oh my God, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, your girl, Melody.